Good morning children. Today we are going to start our new chapter The Sound of Music. Let me tell you something about the author first. It is written by Deborah Cowley. Deborah Cowley is an Ottawa based writer and broadcaster. She has traveled the world while writing more than 100 articles for different editions of the Reader's Digest, many of which have been translated into dozens of languages. She has been an on air broadcaster for CBC Radio in Washington, D.C., and worked for CBC Television in London and Cairo, Egypt. She is the author of Cairo, a practical guide and of Lucille Tisdale, Doctor of Courage. She wrote One Woman's Journey, a portrait of Pauline Val Vanier. Now let us discuss the title. The title itself is very interesting. Here the author says Evelyn Glennie listens to sound without hearing it. Now we all wonder, we are confused. How can you listen to sound when you can't hear? So this is something we will discover. That how Evelyn Glennie was able to listen to sound, although she could not hear. Now, before we proceed with the chapter, let's discuss. God may have taken her hearing, but he has given her back something extraordinary. What we hear, she feels far more deeply than any of us. That is why she expressed music so beautifully. In these lines, he says that although God took her hearing power, she was impaired, but he gave her an extraordinary thing. And that was the sense of feeling. She could feel very deeply far more deeply than the normal people and that is why she was able to express music so beautifully, so well. She is a well-known multi-percussionist. She, she plays different percussion instruments like xylophone, drums, etc. Now here, percussionist children, you will get this new word. Actually, this means a person who plays the drum-like instruments. Now, let me tell you the, first of all, the summary of the story. Then afterward, I'll explain you the chapter line-wise. Actually, this... Uh, story is about a girl, Evelyn Glani, who is a multi percussionist She can play about thousand instruments with perfection. She listens to sound without hearing it. Evelyn fought against her physical disability and became a source of inspiration for thousands of disabled persons. She was profoundly deaf. She was 11 years of age when it was discovered that she had a problem with the sense of hearing. The deterioration started when she was about 8 years old. She wanted to pursue a career in music, but her teachers discouraged her. It was Ron Forbes who recognized her potential and supported her in achieving her goal. 
he advised her not to listen through her ears but try to sense and feel it in some other way soon she was excited she felt the vibration of higher drums from the waist above and lower drum from the waist down later she realized that she could feel the vibration in every part of her body they tingled upon her skin her cheekbones and even in her hair she had learned to open her body and mind to the sounds and vibrations after that she never looked back evelyn joined the prestigious royal academy of music and scored one of the highest marks in the history of the academy she worked hard with strong determination she got right to the top in 1991 she was presented with the royal philharmonic society's prestigious soloist of the year award apart from the regular concert concerts evelyn gave free concerts in prisons and hospitals she was an inspiration for deaf children she has accomplished more than most people twice her age she has been conferred with many awards glenny was selected as one of the two laureates for the polar music prize of 2015 she kept herself busy by performing for the disabled prisoners and the sick okay children now that's all for today we will meet in our next class and i'll tell you the chapter i'll explain you the chapter line wise thank you